you would often find questions around array in DS rounds if you are appearing for a front end interview. Don't worry, I am here to help you crack your dream job. My name is Vedant and you are watching Array Questions in JavaScript on JS Cafe. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So today we are going to solve the question container with most water. So the question states, you are given an integer array height of length n. There are n vertical lines drawn such that the two end points of the ith line are i comma zero and i comma height of i. Find two lines that together with x axis form container such that the container contains the most water. Return the maximum amount of water container can store. That note that you cannot slant the container. So let us have a look at this example. So we are given this array height 18625483. And you can see this is how we can visualize the container. At index 0, we have a vertical with height of 1. And at index 1, we have a vertical with height of 8. Okay, so this is a vertical. So now if we try to fill the water between the verticals at index 1 and index 2, the water can only be filled up till this point and this would be how the water uh, container would look like. Okay, so notice that uh, whatever is the minimum height of the two verticals, up to that height only the water can be filled okay so if you try to fill the water between in these two verticals then you can guess the water can be filled up to this height only because 6 is smaller than 8 the height uh, can be maximum 6 uh, for this container so how much water can be stored in this container let's suppose we take 8 and 6 so we can see that this particular length at bottom is of unit 1 okay and this particular height is of unit 6 so 6 into 1 becomes 6 so 6 is the amount of water we can store now if we try to uh, you know fill water between uh, this vertical and this vertical so we have 8 at a height of index 1 and on this vertical we have 5 okay so 5 and 8 so the maximum height can be 5 and what is the distance between these two? So this is at index 1 and this is index 2, 3 and 4. So 4 minus 1 becomes 3. So you can see that 1, 2, 3. Okay, so there are 3 units. And what is the height? Height is maximum 5. So 5 into 3 gives us 15. So 15 is the amount of water which can be stored between this vertical and this vertical. So this is how we calculate the amount of water which can be stored. Now the question is asking us to uh, return the maximum amount of water that the container is co can store. So we have to find two verticals out of these array such that if we try to fill water between those two verticals, the amount of water is maximum. Okay. So for example, in this, if we try to store water between 8 and 7, we can store a water of amount 49 as per it says. Okay. So we have to make a logic so that we can find how we can store the maximum amount of water. So let us first try to, you know, copy this and try to formulate a logic. So we have this array with us. Okay. So now uh, we have this particular array of heights. Okay. Now what we have to do is we have to calculate the maximum amount of water which can be stored. So first of all, what I would do is I would place a pointer at this particular index and one pointer at this particular index at the starting and at the uh, last. Okay. Now I am assuming that uh, my uh, the maximum amount of water mx is called it mx currently is zero. Okay. Currently we can store zero amount of water. Now. At these two index, now let us try to calculate the amount of water which can be stored. So we are at index. Uh, so for the left pointer, the index is 0. And for the right pointer, we have the index of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. At 8th index. Okay. So left and right are at this point. 
So I will make this as L, here make this as R. Now, the minimum uh, vertical length is 1. So, 1 into multiplied by uh, this particular gap. Okay, this particular gap is 8. So this gives us 8. So, we can store a water of amount 8 between index 0 and 8. Okay, for 1 and 7 particularly. And we compare that this particular new value is it greater than the maximum amount of water which, which was uh, calculated previously. So previously we didn't calculate it. So this time the value of M becomes 8 for us. Now what we have to do is we have to now somehow move this left and right pointer according to the values. Okay. So we have to see that if left and right pointer which pointer is the lowest among two so we see that left pointer is smaller than the right pointer so it makes more sense to keep right pointer so what we do is we increment our left po pointer was one so what happened if this right pointer was less than the left pointer so we will decrement the right pointer value by one okay what if both are equal then we increment the left pointer by one and we decrement the right pointer by one so this is how we calculate it. Now we come to this particular point. L and R. 8 and 7. So at this point, the value of L is at 1. The value of R is still at 8. Okay. Now what is the val calculated value of water in this point? So the minimum of 7 and 8 is 7. And difference between 8 and 1 is 7. So 7 is of 49. 49 is it greater than mx value yes it is so we update the mx value so 49 is the maximum water which can be stored up, up till now now for l and r which is the smaller value so r is less than l so we decrement the r by 1 so r comes to over 3 now we have this new calculation so we have l at 1 we have r at 7 so what is the amount of water which can be stored the minimum of L and R is 3 3 into 7 minus 1 6 becomes 18 is 18 greater than 49 no it is not so we will not update it now we see that the value of R is less than L so we will decrement the value of R we come to over here 8 and 8 so the minimum so both are equal values okay so we can take 8 multiplied by and since l is at 1 and r is at 6 so 6 minus 1 5 5 8 is a 40 is 40 greater than mx value no it is not so we will not change the mx value now we uh, see that l and r both are equal so we decrement l we increment L and we decrement R. So 6 and 4. So the new L and R values are. So L is at 2 and R is at 5. So what is the value that we will get? So the minimum of L and R is 4. 4 multiplied by 5 minus 2 becomes 3. 12. Is 12 greater than MX value? No, it is not. So we will not do anything. So. 4 is less than 6, we will decrement the value of R, R comes to be N, the value of L is 2 and value of R is still 4, now 5 and 6, 5 is smaller, 5 multiplied by 4 minus 2, 10, is 10 greater than 49, no it is not, we will not do anything, we will decrement R again, 6 and 2, value of L is 2, value of R is 3, so 2 multiplied by 1 gives us Two. is 2 greater than 49 no it is not now we will decrement the r now r and l are coinciding on top of each other so we cannot store water when we have only one vertical so we saw that 49 was the maximum amount of water which can be stored for this particular array and this is how we calculate the logic so now this was the logic behind it. Uh, we have seen this on the whiteboard. Now it's time to write code for it. Okay. 
So first of all, we will create a value let mx equals to zero. This will store the value of the area, maximum area we have calculated so far. Then we have let let l equals to zero, left pointer, and let r equals to height dot length minus one. So left and right pointer are set. Now while left is less than r okay mx equals to math dot max of mx now we will try to calculate the area for left and right pointers okay so we will do is it is first of all we will cal uh, pick up the minimum uh, height of the container so math dot width height of l on the height of r and then we will multiply this by r minus l okay this is what we were doing so we picked up the minimum value at out of uh, l and r okay it was 4 and we multiplied, multiplied it by the difference between the two indices okay so 4 plus 3 was 12 like this so r minus l and what we will do is now we uh, calculated the mx value now we have to move the left and the right pointers the, so the movement logic is very simple if if height of l is less than height of r then we have to increment l as if height of r is less than height of n then we will decrement r by 1 else we will increment l plus 1 and we will decrement r by 1 and forward by that i will return the mx value so let us try to run this code if it was accepted submit cool it was accepted so uh, this was a solution for the problem uh, container with most water so the time complexity is big o of n because we are iterating over the array only once in a single while loop and the space complexity is big o of 1 because we are not using any extra space to store the numbers so this was all in this video hope you find it useful if there is any doubt or a question, do let me know in the comments. See you in the next one. Till then, take care. Goodbye.